Hi. Uh, first part of the build. Um, so I put together the wings and start assembling the cockpit and dry fitting some of the parts here. Um, the wings did need a little bit of sanding. Uh, there's a little bit of a step on the edges. Um, so I'm just sanded that down. Uh, did some wet sanding. Uh, I was using these uh, squadron sanding sticks. I used a coarse, sand it down, and then I use a final one just to polish it up a little bit more. So it gives me a nice smooth edge there. Um, I also was doing that uh, using wet sanding to eliminate some of the dust and just to give it even a smoother finish. Um, here in the cockpit I started dry fitting these parts. Um, as you see, this is supposed to be an arch. Oops, camera's out of focus. Hey, focus, focus. There you go. All right. Uh, so this is the archway of the entryway, the doorway from the uh, main body into the cockpit. As you see, there's this plastic there, uh, which uh, is going to look weird because I mean you're going to have mainly uh, this that greenhouse canopy, so you probably will see this. So what I'm going to do I'm going to trim off that part before I finish uh, painting and assembling the cockpit. All right, be right back. Um, all right, so I painted and installed the uh, cockpit here and closed up the. Uh, uh, two body halves and I'm dry fitting uh, the wings here. Uh, they glow on the bottom wing um, dry fitting the top wing for fit. Um, there are quite a bit of gap here you can see the wing in here where the wing meets the body uh, there's going to need some filler and some work. Um, I also masked the uh, canopy here using the Edward set that you see here. Uh, and the one thing about the Edward mask it comes with the uh, uh, masks for the main canopy and the wheels uh, but doesn't come with any mask for the lower part of the canopy uh, which is this part here which is a separate piece which gets glued on to the main canopy but it's no big deal I mean it's easy enough to uh, uh, cut a little, couple few pieces of tape and to me a tape and glue them there um, but anyway that's something that doesn't come with this uh, which is a bit of a disappointment but uh, uh, yeah, it is what it is right, be right back with the rest Hello and welcome back. As you see, I have completed the uh, model. Um, after the last segment you saw, that was uh, prior to painting. I mean, since it's just the one color, it went by pretty quick. Uh, um, once everything was assembled, all the filler and sanding and filler and sanding, uh, put on some primer and then applied just the single the uh, single color of red uh, all over it, um, and then applied some future and then applied the decals as you see and then some future over that to clear it, uh, to protect it and just give it the overall final uh, appearance of the shininess. I didn't do any weathering here at all I mean this is just straight um, as you see whatever panel lines shading just comes from naturally from the panel lines which are in the model since this is kind of more of a shore bird and a work bird um, plus also the missus just, just likes it the way it is so that's the way it's gonna stay um, so overall, I mean, uh, the fit was only so-so. I mean, I did have a lot of problems fitting around here, around the wing root, and especially here at the bottom. Um, I did need some filler and sanding and so forth to uh, get that to some reasonable uh, smooth, smoothness there. Um, that was pretty much the major issue. Uh, the other issue here in the cowling, I don't know, some of the parts were just either mis mislabeled, misnumbered, or the orientation was a little bit off the way there was on the instructions. It just wasn't entirely clear. Uh, so if you do build this, just pay close attention and dry fit everything. Make sure everything is fitting properly. Uh, don't go by the instructions 100%. Uh, always double check. And it's probably just a good idea to do that regardless of who or what model you're building. Um, the decals themselves, uh, they went over okay. But the white is not really pure white, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way or not. Let me zoom here so you can take a little closer look at here. So I don't know how well this shows up on the camera, but this is not pure solid white. Um, it actually is a little looks a little speckly, um, if that's a word. Uh, so you can actually see a little bit through the white uh, to the underneath color. So, which I found kind of unusual. So, I mean, from what I see on the box and from what I see looking up this plane on the online, some actual pictures, it's supposed to be solid white, not that speckly white. So, that's a, there's a problem with these decals. Uh, I mean, the decals themselves settle down pretty well. Didn't have any problems, uh, just them settling. Um, 
do have some problems with the way that the, they were measured uh, for this kit. Uh, for example, here, this should have been meeting up here in the middle, uh, which it does not focus. It just, there's a gap there. Um, same thing for on top. It doesn't quite meet up uh, exactly. Uh, so those are a couple of points. I probably could have just uh, painted them, but since the white is not pure white, then it wouldn't really um, match up with the rest of it. So that would have been a bit of a problem there. Let me just put this down so you can see how close. All right, there you go. All right, so uh, overall, it's a nice little thing. Um, all here, also, I put the, I uh, use some of that easy line for the antenna on top. I don't know why you can see this here on camera. So it's really thin. Uh, but I like using that for the antenna wire. Um, and there she goes. So, um, I mean, overall, it's a nice kit. Something different from my usual either World War II or jet aircraft that I have. And also, I think this is the only old red aircraft that I have uh, now here on my um, on my shelf. So, that's cool. So, I'd like to thank the missus for giving me this. I appreciate it, honey. I love you. Um, and thank you for everything. Okay, well, I hope you guys... Uh, enjoy this little quick build and uh, you know uh, just go to show you can always do something else uh, other than your norm and it's good to have a partner in life that, that also supports your hobby and the things that you like in life all right thank you all have a good day